What's up? Good. So is that. Your old university roommate there, he was showing you some love and support. How does it feel to see your old roommate showing you that kind of support uh, leading into the season? Yeah, you know, we, uh, we talk quite often, um, me, him, his brother, and some other buddies of ours. We, we uh, thought here would be a, a cool idea to send him some gear. Uh, we sent it to the facility for Trav, so he got it. We sent the other box to Jason's house, and if Jason lived the way that he did in college, it's it's understandable that he couldn't find the uh, the package. So he says. That's not a shot at Kylie. Sorry, Kylie. But uh, but yeah, it was it was, uh, it was something that everybody found out about uh, yesterday morning, and um, yeah, those guys are supportive, of course. Um, we've been friends for a long time, and. Uh, can't take care of them and like put them in my box here because I don't have a box, but they usually take care of us and do that, so it's cool. Did you uh, reach out to him at all or talk to him yesterday when you found out about it? Oh yeah, uh, in our little chat, a friend, one of our other friends, I think that's how who broke the news to me, him and him and Darren. So yeah. This was orchestrated, and this wasn't uh, like a surprise to you. Uh, <laughs> sent him the jersey. Yeah. Well, okay, so. Really? I was talking to Trav and, and Jay. I'm like, yo, we're gonna play the West Final here. Yeah. If you can, during the week, it'll be cool for the organization. If you were like, hey, we're, we're supporting the Bombers, or just wear it and you know, be like, hey, tune into the CFL. Right. I don't think they read the, the text exactly correctly, <laughs> so they wore it. Uh, they wore it when they wanted to wear it, but it's cool. I, I like the bubble head in the back. That's the coolest part. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you um, get a bunch of uh, reaction to this? I'm not on social media, yeah, so um, if I wasn't here, I probably wouldn't have heard about it, right. except for from Nicole. And, she was just wondering how it happened. Yeah. What are some memories you have of uh, living with uh, Jason and Kelsey and just uh, playing with them for the Bearcats? Oh, they're just they're great guys. Um, you know, if you watch the podcast, it's like hanging out with them. So um, I get a kick out of that. I get a kick out of the documentaries and stuff that come out about them. And I always tell this guys, it's like I get to spend an hour with you guys. It's cool to watch this. So um, they're just great people, and I'm not surprised at their success on and off the field. Brady's uh, going to be in Vancouver for sure. Great cup week. Um, how badly you guys want to make sure he's not alone. I mean, that's the goal, right? Um, Brady's obviously very deserving of that accolade. Um, represent our organization really well. Um, but yeah, we, you know, we're here. Um, we're here from what is it now? May when we report. You know, each each day, uh, day in and day out, to, to reach the ultimate goal. Uh, so we'd obviously like to be there with him. Um, We'll have a great challenge here um, in about 10 days. Uh, it'll be a great atmosphere, um, but there's a lot of work in between um, that West Final that needs to, to, to happen uh, for it to go the way we want it to go. How much value is there in this uh, extra week here to prepare? There's value. You know, today we were able to work on some situations, a situation in particular that you there just wouldn't be time to work on. There's that might come up once a season, uh, once every five seasons. Um, so you try to. We try to iron out those little details of, of things that you know you wouldn't necessarily think of. I know she does a great job with that, as well as uh, our offensive and defensive and, and, and special team staffs. So uh, that's a, that's always a little fun to uh, kind of hypothesize and theorize a little bit on, on what could happen, and this is how we'll react to it, and this is how we see them reacting to it. But uh, you know, at the end of the day, making sure that we're staying you know fundamentally sound in the things that we do well, um, and then you know trying to morph that into a, a game plan to, to win against, uh, you know, PC or Sask. You guys showed a lot of emotion in the post-game celebration there in, in um, Montreal. Terrell Ford was saying, that make me celebrate a little too much. It was just another regular season game. Uh, oh, I, I think any time you make a kick in the rain like that for 51 yards, I don't care if it's a preseason game, you got to celebrate that. I mean, I think we all take for granted now just how damn good Sergio is, you know? So um, at the end of the day, we're playing a game like we're kids playing a game, right? So you, you go out there and you play for three hours in the backyard or on the street, the street lights, you know, turning on there and you win the last play of the game. I mean, I could, I could still see myself going out there now for Thanksgiving after the season with my buddies from back home. And if we score a game winning touchdown or a field goal, I'm going to celebrate that. So no, it wasn't overdone, no way. That's what Probably I mean. underdone. <laughs> Zach, the, the situational practice you're doing today, does it stick because you just went through a once-in-a-lifetime situational ending? I wonder if it sticks a little more in a practice day like today. Uh, maybe for some guys, yeah, and maybe for me as well. But, uh, I, I, you know, the 